out of shape. treacherous ascent of Prospect Hill goes on apace. It's a charming bit of woods. We came from that way, which eventually takes you all the way to Plum Island. Wouldn't be more than about a day's walk. Probably four hours. And I'm trudging up the hill of my remorse my road to hoe. Fortunately, it's just a little dinky coastal drumlin hill, nothing too hideous. Lots of moss. Ooh, a blaze. And a turn. And another blaze. Ooh -hoo. We won a round of, you figured it out, however arduous was the play of the game. How nice to be on level ground again. And I got 20 minutes of battery time or so. And this battery and reserve. Betcha, the retrace I did pretty much covers the entirety of the Bay Circuit Trail through this parcel. So when I get back to where I started from, where I discovered the navigation problem, Ah, yeah, there's a blaze. It's on a tree that's now broken. Gotcha. Important turn. And it's... Is it indicated? It ought to be on one of these things. Nah, not really. But if you're alert, <laughs> you'll note a little piece of Blaze dangling from a tree. Yep, found it. <laughs> so yeah, beyond the woods over there is the Raleigh Town Water Tower and various cell phone things. And 
Now I can enjoy a more relaxing stroll on level ground. Well, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. These northern properties, I've observed this in Andover too, have some really interesting ground covers. Kind of their own special plant community. It's one of the distinctions. And then you run into more of this hemlock stuff. It's a little too warm and a little too exposed on the south shore in most places. It'll show up on shady slopes. But here, it finally begins to get a foothold. Huh, it's an interesting something. I don't know exactly what it is. Al and those who figured this out with them really outdid themselves here. One of the reasons I like coming up here so much is that it hadn't been stopped quite to the degree of its southerly cousins. There's still an interesting rural caricature character, but it's Got horses too, I saw one today. The trail is superb though. The other one I went on and got lost on wasn't really that interesting, but I figured it was expedient. This is what I get for doubting Al's instincts. He really is the equal of any of his heroes from the Appalachian Trail invention so forth. Okay, looks like we continue this way. Another spot isn't terribly clear. In some cases, the blazes may have been But really, the people who are the professed stewards of these respective sections ought to get out at least once a season and check stuff out. I mean, come on, it's kind of a privilege. <laughs> the place is great anyway. If I lived up here, I'd be out here every day. This appears to be a fairly old trail. Ah, oh, there goes a pheasant. Ah, no, it's a, a flicker. Cool. I don't see any blazes. Better investigate. The ascent beckon. backtrack to make sure we're on the right one. <laughs> Wasted more time, but ultimately just calmed my <laughs> unsettled nerves. I hate it when these things get half-assed and I get half-lost for something that should be relatively rudimentary. There's some stupendous screw-ups, too. I remember Walden being a ridiculous mess. It was one of the worst 
days I ever spent trying to figure out a trail. Walden, no less. The, <laughs> the place everybody and their brother wants to go. If you wanted a more perfect location to promote the Bay Circuit, it would be difficult to top Walden. But no, <laughs> it's a bewildering mess. Maybe they fixed it. The South Shore was a whole assortment of half-assed problems, but I just figure it's partly due to the fact that they've never been particularly wealthy. They're doing the best they can, damn it. The West Marches are more kind of coy. Like They want to have the thing, they just don't want anyone to know about it. Here, it's sort of like South Shore Light. <laughs> the various people who are now responsible for this thing, I forgot to mention it to like the cops and the other people who are the heart and soul and background, backbone of the communities that this trail is trying to weave through. When the regular DPW people, the cops and all your other typical players on the stage of Massachusetts small town life are oblivious to this amenity, you know a ball has been dropped. <laughs> 